Okay, so basically this session is to um, announce that I'm selling my first NFT and maybe we'll walk through selling the second NFT later. Uh, so basically there's two objectives. So yeah, the first one is to announce that I have a NFT. And then the second is to share my experience uh, with other fellow artists who are still thinking about um, if they should go into NFT or they're they are confused about what is NFT and are still thinking about uh, NFT. So uh, I can share my experience. Um, not sure if it's <laughs> if it's uh, successful or not, but just uh, you know, just share. I think failure or success. Uh, I think everyone can learn from it. Yeah. So just chit chatting. It's gonna be a very casual session. Just chit chatting. Uh, so I prepared some slides because a lot of people ask me what is NFT. Um, yeah. So uh, I I I made some slides to briefly explain what is NFT. But I, I made more and more until it's like 10, 10 slides. <laughs> so it's like a cl mini class. Yeah, gum, yes. Today crypto just dipped. Yes, I bought a bit this morning. <laughs> yeah, I bought um, a bit of Bitcoin and Ethereum. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of Solana, but yeah. Mm, yeah, but I was uh, selling the NFT and it required me to transfer some ETH. So. Oh uh, yeah, my funds are used to buy the Ethereum lah. Yeah. Yeah, hi Sek Lang. Hi Davis. De Davis, yeah. Hello. Okay, great. So Hi Kelvin. <laughs> Kelvin SEO. Yeah, my my new advisor. <laughs> okay. So let's get started we have around like 28 people online so yeah hi hi Bioladi Yoshogi yeah buy the dip yes I bought the dip but I didn't dare to buy too much yet because don't know if it will dip further <laughs> so I reserve a bit more cash in case it dip further <laughs> yeah thanks huh yeah okay so uh you can like and share <laughs> Sorry, no prizes for like and share. <laughs> yeah. To your friends who may want to know more about NFTs or any artist friends who want to know about NFTs. Okay, so what is NFT? So when I first started, I also have this question, what is NFT? Yeah, so NFT is a non-fungible token. So, um, then it actually that this definition doesn't help when I know about this what non-fungible token I was like huh what what the hell is it so actually it means uh, anything digital it can be drawing music video etc and it verifies that the work is authentic and original on a blockchain for example on ethereum uh, so I think it's helpful to know what is the opposite of non-fungible which is fungible so fungible it, uh, is actually some kind of goods that can be um, replaceable by another and identical item and it's mutually interchangeable for example cash gold or crypto so I prepared example here this is a Singapore two dollar note <laughs> it's a uh, fungible which means that if you have $2 note and I have a $2 note, right? So um, I can exchange for a $2 note, same value. So I cannot, you cannot say that, oh, you want, if I want to buy your $2 note, I have to pay $3. So because it's of same value, although the serial number is different, but it's actually interchangeable and the same value. So this is a fungible. Yeah, it can be physical to, okay, so I, next slide, got. So um, non-fungible, so for example, <coughs> I, my book, <laughs> okay, so let's say I sign on this book and I say that this is the first and original copy and all the other copies that is in the market is a cop is copy, it's not original from the artist. So um, in a way, this is like the one and only and I say it's the one and only, one and only, but it's a digital asset like a JPEG, a drawing, a music, or video. The artist or the creator can say that this is actually original. And because, you know, you can copy JPEG or, you know, music files, right, easily, but you cannot verify that whether or not this is original from the <laughs> artist. So this actually uh, will verify on the blockchain that this is the original. 
So another way to picture this is um, like, so I did a diagram. Actually, I saw this diagram online, but I cannot copy as is. So yeah, yeah, actually I, I deliberately flipped the camera. Yeah, so that I can point the same direction. So um, there's different types of assets. Um, so there's intangible and tangible. So, and there's, uh, there's non-fungible and fungible. So for example, um, your cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, they are fungible and intangible, which means they, you cannot hold it physically and uh, you can exchange, for, for, uh, exchange it with the same value on an exchange. But for tangible, uh, you, you can see it and you can exchange. So like money, you know, the, the dollar note that I just uh, showed you is, is uh, tangible. You can, you can hold it and it can be duplicated. Like it's, it's the same value. Whereas non-fungible is, um, it's one of a kind, it's unique. So for example, the drawing I did, uh, you know, or copyright is unique and it can be tangible. So it can be a physical object that's non-fungible. For example, Mona Lisa painting. I did a very bad job with the no Mona, <laughs> Mona Lisa painting. And a uh, house, house is unique. Every house is different. Or a car, uh, every car may be different. So it's a, uh, you can, it's a physical and it's, it's not of the same value. So one car can, although it's the same model, but, and, but it cannot be the same value as another car. Although it's the same model, but there's different, uh, you know, it's unique of its own. I hope it doesn't confuse people. <laughs> cat cat is tangible. Uh. Cat cat is not tangible. La. <laughs> oh, unless you're talking about the cushion I had. <laughs> I spent two years to sell. <laughs> okay, so um, there's different kinds of, there's different NFT marketplace. There's a lot right now. So the most, uh, the biggest one is OpenSea, I think. And then there's also Rarible, uh, Binance NFT, and many, many more. So I, maybe I can show my Chrome. So this is OpenSea, and this is Rarible. So for variable, uh, I find that it seems more happening. <laughs> like, wow, if there's a lot of <laughs> things going on there. <laughs> yeah, and then there's Binance NFT that Kelvin SEO has uh, introduced to me. So um, yeah, so it's actually quite a happening place and it's newly in evolving. And that's why, because um, I've been actually buying Ethereum since the beginning of the year. So that's why uh, some friends actually told me to explore NFT, but I didn't have time because I had a lot of commission work until now when I have a bit of time to uh, explore and do it. <laughs> yes, digital form. Hey, anyone is popular too. Okay, I don't know what is popular right now. La, so I only know, <laughs> I only know I'm, because uh, <laughs> I'm too busy researching on these platforms. Yeah, so I, I don't really like know what is the in thing right now. Yeah, so let me, Go back. So right now, the most uh, popular. Um, so basically, different. Um, there's different networks, and um. Eh, what is it? Oh, there's that. Okay, never mind. Okay, so there's a uh, different networks right now, um, different crypto, um, different networks and their native tokens that support uh, non-fungible tokens. So Ethereum is like the old boy, <laughs> the, the most popular and most established of all. And um, then Solana is an upcoming new one. Uh, yeah, so. <laughs> And then Binance uh, uses the Binance Smart Chain, uh, but it seems that you can only use it on Binance NFT marketplace. And then Cardano uh, has its native uh, token ADA. So this one, uh, they just uh, <laughs> introduced smart contract. So I think it's very new. So I'm not so sure which uh, marketplace supports uh, ADA right now. So, uh, you, but you can never go wrong with Ethereum. It's like 
establish the earliest yeah so if you want to buy uh you want to do nft i think it's quite safe to buy some ethereum especially now with the uh, the market dip <laughs> yeah it's good to load a bit if you want you are thinking of uh, going into this space okay so i think um so i did this diagram for people to uh who are new to understand uh what's going on because i think some of you may find it very uh complicated like when i first researched into this it was like wow so complicated so you can picture this as um, there's three parts to this uh, nft process so the first thing is uh you need to uh, buy the crypto right okay so you need to buy the crypto um, at an exchange so you need to buy your ethereum your or your solana or your bitcoin at an exchange so with the wallet you cannot do anything with it you can only store your cryptocurrencies or you know so you need to register an account at a crypto exchange such as Binance, gemini or coin these three are actually available in singapore so um Binance as in Binance.sg so I mean I think Binance.com recently has some uh, restrictions placed by the government so um, basically um, I'm with CoinHako but CoinHako charges the most expensive uh, rates as well as uh, commission but I find it's very easy to use <laughs> so that's why I'm on CoinHako so after you buy the crypto maybe Bitcoin uh, or uh, ethereum you buy some ethereum you need to um you want to use it in an a nft marketplace on uh, on the right side of the nft marketplace over here you can see my cursor okay so the nft marketplace so uh this nft marketplace requires the ethereum e i mean it requires ethereum or mm, yeah actually mainly ethereum right now i think yeah, if you're on OpenSea, it's on in, uh, it's with Ethereum. So um, to list your artwork on an NFT marketplace, you need to pay some gas fees or mining fees uh, or fees to the miners to put up. So which I will talk about it later. So um, yeah, and then but then this is the NFT marketplace is not connected to the crypto exchange so you need a software wallet to store your crypto in order to pay for this marketplace so some of the most common software wallet is metamask um, if you're using chrome the the browser it will prompt you um, for me i use coinbase wallet because i am using safari i don't use chrome so thing i can show oops where's my cursor chrome and Safari. if wait hmm. so you will be prompted to use uh get metamask when you if you log in through chrome so for me i use coinbase sorry a bit confusing now because i have a lot of open windows okay so um i hope this is easy to understand so you need a wallet to like connect the crypto exchange as well as the nft marketplace so there's actually two parts to it okay so actually i have a coinbase wallet and each time i do some kind of transaction or you know some kind of action on OpenSea, uh, it will require me to do a sign on my on on the app in my phone. So this is like a security feature. So for the OpenSea listing, where well, first time you list something for sale, uh, you need to in initialize your wallet. Um, that means you uh, you need to pay a one-time gas fee, and I was very surprised. It's very expensive. <laughs> So you can see here, I'm, I'm not sure if you can see, but I paid like 283 Singapore dollars just to initialize my wallet. And I was like, wow, hey, I, I bought Ethereum early, so my, my cost, my 
my cost is not as not really that high. It's not as high as now la, but it's still painful to see two hundred dollars uh two hundred eighty three dollars gone. And that's not the end of it. After that I have to approve the token um that I I I, I enlisting on OpenSea and that cost like twenty twenty five dollars. So in total I spent three three hundred dollars to do the listing, which is like oh shit, it's so expensive. <laughs> yeah, so that's my experience. So initially I thought I would be spending like zero point two Ethereum, so that's why I put that zero point two. Um but later I found out that the gas fee dropped when I do did the actual listing. Uh no, when I yeah, because I do it two twi two times because it it's actually free to mint but it costs to sell to to list an auction. So that's why I, I thought it was uh, zero point two ETH, but actually I, I it's uh, around zero point one. Yeah, Calvin is very expensive. Oh my god. Okay, so <laughs> this is my NFT and this is the QR code if you're interested to 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 um, to buy my NFT. It's on OpenSea. So I think that's all for my presentation. Yeah, so now um maybe Okay, so my 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 friend just told me that he managed to list something on OpenSea on Matic for free. And I checked it out and it was free. So let me try live to list something uh, and see if I can get past the so-called gas fees. So uh, for those of you who are not sure, Polygon Matic is actually built on Ethereum because to solve the expensive gas fee. <laughs> So let me see if I can go and change to Chrome webcam. Wait, I have many windows open, so I have to move a bit here and there. Oh yeah, the London Hot Four. Uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> or oh, must wait till Ethereum two point zero is totally out. So over here, this is uh, my account on. Uh, Open C. So this is my first attempt. The crypto bunnies that cost me three hundred dollars to, to to list, and currently there's no bidders. Uh, bit sad, but anyway. Um. So let me, um, do create. Um. So actually, there's two parts. You need to create the collection, like like so, and then you put your items into the collection. So. This is the Eva Comics wallpapers, and then I add item. So because today is a uh, mm, mid autumn festival, so it's going to be <laughs> mid autumn festival theme. Wait, did it move? Uh, t -t 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 -t. Okay. So this is actually a very <laughs> old artwork. Yeah, I'm not sure if um, you know, old fans will remember this artwork that I shared on Facebook many years ago. Okay, so Bioladi, uh, yeah, said that it's free. It's oh, it's free. It's free on OpenSea. Collector, no need to buy gas fee, unlike ETH. Ah, I see. So maybe let me try um. Listing this Eva in chi Chinese costume. Oh, is it possible to see? Oh, cannot see. Okay. So external link. There's no external link. Provide a description. Mm. Uh, Eva from Eva Comics. Check out. 
to go to the moon. <laughs> okay, here, hit the moon. Ah, moon is. Okay, so I think these these properties and levels and stats are for like uh you know like collectible I'm mean not collectible like trading card like feel to it so I'm I'm, I'm not gonna touch that unlockable content I'm not gonna do this because if you one of you can see it right now anyway okay number of copies um I'll just put one and I'm gonna select polygon. And then let me click on click <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure do I need to do something on my wallet? Oh, I don't need to. So I think minting minting um minting the work is free but i think i created in the wrong wrong collection it's actually not in eva comics wallpapers Hiya. <laughs> anyway um yeah so now it's minted i guess i'll, I'll click on sell <laughs> william say what why <laughs> i hope what <laughs> yeah Set price, so oh okay, set price. Oh okay, this is required. So let me try zero point zero one Ethereum. Cheap cheap total earnings schedule listing um end date. Wow. Okay, so it has a very long uh listing date. It's like Wow, it's very long, uh, six months. Uh. Yeah, it's like six months of listing. So I guess I'll, I'll, I'll leave it as it is. And complete listing. Unlock currency. <laughs> to complete your listing for unlock currency, submit a transaction with your wallet to trade with this currency. Okay, <laughs> sorry guys, I don't have Matic. I I didn't buy Matic, so uh, you cannot transfer here. So click unlock. Can I? Find a message. Find a message. Find find what message? Find a message using your wallet. Find. Oh, okay. Oh, it works. Ah. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. Oh, I should have used um. Should have used Polygon. <laughs> Yeah, 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 go ahead and um, no need, just unlock immediately. Oh, okay, so, oh, wait, oh, but this is not auction, right? So, I can I can list it for sale, but it's not an auction. If it's auction, I, I have to do Ethereum, right? Yeah, I, I think... Yeah, I think I, 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 I don't remember like Yeah, it's it's there's some different settings if you use Ethereum. Careful if I can buy your art now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can you can now buy this artwork <laughs> for a very low price of zero point zero one Ethereum. I, I think so. So if I go back here yeah, so you can just list your work to sell at this flat price, I think, for free. Um, but 
I think if you want to do unction, you have to use, you have to pay Ethereum for, for that. Uh, I think, am I right to say that? Yeah, I think that was what happened. So maybe let me, let me try another one. I'm running out of artwork. Pay money. Eva prints money. Okay, let me see if this works. Okay, so printing endless Eva from Eva comic prints endless cash. Okay, so maybe. Okay, maybe let's try. Oh, can I try two? I can. Oh no, I can't. Okay, so the supply is limited. I I can't change this. Yeah, I can't seem to increase the quantity. Oh, thanks, Bioladi, for buying it. <laughs> Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Kelvin. <laughs> Eva printing money already. <laughs> okay, guys, I cannot increase this supply. You know, it's stuck at one. So let me try Polygon again. And um, I think everything is so print, printing, print, uh, printing, printing, and this cash. Okay, then I click create. Will it work? Oh, okay. It um, okay. So I created it, and I want to click sell. Let's say I try. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, because I remember that if I have uh, minted this on Ethereum, I can actually do an auction, but um. If I did it on Matic, which is free throughout the way, as you can see, it's free. I cannot do auction. I can only uh, do a set price. So let me go ahead and do a set price of another 0 0.01 Ethereum. So you can see that there's a creator royalty of 5%. So I think this means that each time it sells to another different person, um, we get 5% cut of it. So I think that is uh, what it means. So schedule this thing. Um, I'll, I'll leave it. Um, okay, so basically your, your sell price and the schedule dates cannot be edited once your item is listed. So if you use Matic and you use a set price, you cannot change um, these dates and price once you complete listing. So let me go ahead and click this and use my um, wallet to do a sign. So I need to install the app. So I'm using, um, oh, okay. I'm using the, uh, is it Coinbase? Yeah. Sign. Okay, sign. Okay, and it's for sale. So over here, you see that um, it's very different from my, the one that I used Ethereum network to, to do. So let's say I click this and um, yeah, actually if you check the ledger, uh, it was originally minted by me and I, and I put the price at 0 0.2 Ethereum, but I later think that it's too expensive and managed to change to 0 0.1 Ethereum. So I can click this button lower price to reduce the, 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 the listing, the, the initial um, price. So, um, this is different. This one was done uh, using the Ethereum network and I paid $300 to list this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so this can be changed. You can change, uh, you can also cancel listing. You can, um, let me see if I, I can edit anything. Okay. All right. So you can edit some things, but um, not, not all. Um, I, I cannot edit the time frame. Uh, yeah. 
so now um <laughs> okay so vision neater i think is uh is viola d <laughs> okay hi maria from switzerland volume is very low okay sorry i think i i my i i was too far away from the mic yeah so i think now should be better I was too excited and my, my mouth <laughs> went away from the mic. <laughs> yeah. The gas fee in East costs about 80% of your art piece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the gas fees and it didn't cost so much. I hope the London Art <laughs> will fix things. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Violadi says that on Ethereum, I still need to pay gas fee if I cancel or accept offer so i also heard from kelvin as eo that um if you want to bid on my auction uh, which is the the expensive one <laughs> you need to pay gas fee of around 60 dollars as well so that's quite expensive yeah but um this this is free <laughs> so over here there's a Okay, nobody have bought my printing money <laughs> yet. Okay, so um but Feng uh, the the mid autumn one is already uh oh so it's bid and then sale six minutes ago. Uh. Oh so now you can see that it's no longer belong to me and uh, I have to do a make offer to get it back. Oh I see okay so this is like something new <laughs> as well <laughs> i learned tonight <laughs> okay so so if it's this one it's still still mine right yeah it's owned by me still owned by me yeah i see okay okay hi ikyong yeah let's share the link to the collection um Wait, let me see the how do I share the collection? <laughs> Telegram? No. Website. Um Oh, I think I can just copy and paste. Copy and paste. Ping. Can I pin? Ping. Pin. Pin. Oh, I can pin. Yeah, Aekyong is another crypto guru. Uh. <laughs> I'm a I'm a newbie by the way, so um Okay, so that that is all for my experience. Uh any questions so far? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, I don't see any more um questions. So I guess I will end this uh Facebook live session. And I hope you all have enjoyed the the um, very last minute, <laughs> very last minute uh, impromptu uh, Facebook live. Yeah. And um, yeah, maybe if you all enjoy the Facebook live session, I will maybe do more in the future as well. Um, yeah. So wishing everyone a happy mid autumn festival uh, with your family and uh, stay healthy and voila <laughs> okay thank you bye bye